Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, March 23rd, 2021. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and this is episode 363. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In today's episode, Master of My Own with Kenny Lin and 710 begins filming. And Yang Mi apologizes for her comic waste challenge. But first, here's what's recently premiered. In Love with Your Dimples is a modern romance drama starring Estelle Chen and Xu Kaixin, and it premiered yesterday, March 22nd. Estelle Chen's character is a desk clerk whose brilliant talent and interesting spirit catches the attention of three handsome dudes, one of whom is the president of the company she works for. When I first saw the title, I was so proud that I'd become the inspiration for a drama. And then I woke up. In Love With Your Dimples is slated for 24 episodes and is available on IQ.com with English subs. The Intimate Gamer is a modern gaming drama starring Gong Fangni and Shen Yinghao, and it premiered yesterday as well. It follows an avid gamer who gets a job at her favorite gaming company as a gaming cheerleader. Despite constantly getting made fun of by her colleagues, she remains fun and cheerful, and eventually wins them over. The drama is adapted from the comic Don't Underestimate the Otomi Soul. It is slated for 12 episodes and is available on Sohu TV. No English subs at the moment. One Boat, One World is a modern romance drama starring Zhang Han and Claudia Wang, and it premiered earlier today. The drama follows Zhang Han's character, the chief officer of a cruise ship, and how he manages the 6,000 tourists and staff members on board. He also meets Claudia Wang's character, a tour guide, and strikes up a romance with her. Before this, Zhang Han hadn't had a drama he starred in premiere in about three years. Now, in the span of six days, he has two. His other drama, Sunshine of My Life, premiered last week. One Boat, One World wrapped in 2018, so it was held back for a few years before being given the green light to air. The drama is slated for 30 episodes and is available on YouTube with all kinds of subs, but with the exception of the Chinese one, they're all auto-translate. And finally, Breath of Destiny is a modern medical drama starring Steffi Chi and Tony Yang, and it premiered earlier today as well. The two stars play physicians who are sent to an isolated island in the South Pacific to save lives. As if the harsh environment wasn't hard enough, their efforts are further hindered by a huge conspiracy. Steffi Chi starred as a robot in the recently aired Humans, whereas Tony Yang starred as the third prince in The Rebel Princess. At first glance, I think the two look like a good pairing. I'd like to see if they can create good chemistry as well on screen. Breath of Destiny is slated for 40 episodes and is available on IQ.com with English subs. And that's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, here's an upcoming drama that I'm very much looking forward to. Master of My Own is an upcoming modern drama starring Kenny Lin and 710, and they started filming a couple of days ago, March 21st. Here are the two stars at the booting ceremony. Here's Kenny Lin holding up a red envelope and 710 burning incense. Those items are omnipresent at booting ceremonies and are generally for good luck. So according to the synopsis on Baidu, Seven Tan's character is an aspiring investment director, but her boss, played by Kenny Lin, doesn't think she has the goods. So she leaves him for a different company and does amazing things there. That's just kind of the gist of it for now, but of course there are other plot lines like the romance one. Kenny Lin reacted to their casting by saying, We are going to be colleagues, Ning Meng. I wish you well. What do you wish for me? Ning Meng being Seven Tan's character. Seven Tan responded by saying, Director Lu Ming, kindly accept my regards. Also, please address me as Director. Lu Ming being Kenny Lin's character. Some friendly in-character banter already. I love it. So what a pairing this is, I'm a fan of both these charismatic actors. I'm excited to see what they will bring to the screen together. Kenny Lin's most recent drama to air was To Love with Ka Yue Si. That was a modern drama that I really enjoyed. 
And before that, there was of course the second most viewed Chinese drama of all time, Princess Agents, in which he starred with Zhao Liying. And it gets asked every time I talk about Kenny Lin or Zhao Liying, so I will preemptively answer. At the moment, there's no official word about a Princess Agents sequel. Yes, it ended on a major cliffhanger, and I'd like to see them tie up that loose end too, but it'll be a while, if ever, before it happens. Seven Tan, on the other hand, stars in the currently airing The Sword and the Brocade with Wallace Chung, and I'm really enjoying that. I thought she was also terrific in last year's Go Ahead, in which she starred with Sung Wei Long and Steven Zhang. I will continue to bring updates on Master of My Own as they provide them. And before we get to the drama raps and celebrity news, a word on the video sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. It offers creative classes that cover a wide range of topics like photography, cooking and language and they're designed to fit your schedule and skill level. I checked out Katrina Lee's Super Easy Mandarin for Beginners and found it to be, like the title suggests, super easy. For those of you who've been wanting to learn Mandarin for a while, you can take the plunge with Skillshare. They're always launching new premium classes and there are no ads, all for less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. However, the first thousand people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And moving on, here now are a couple of drama raps to update on, beginning with The Story of the Bat. The Story of the Bat is an upcoming costume drama starring Mao Zedong and Gala Zhang, and they wrapped filming yesterday. That's a lot of cans of milk. This was them at the booting ceremony in mid-December, so the shoot lasted a little over three months. The drama is adapted from the boys' love novel entitled Bat, written by Feng Nong, and in it, Mao Zedong, Gala Zhang, Rain Lu, and Liu Yuhan play four young heroes in the pugilistic world who pursue an infamous murderer called Bian Fu, or Bat. Mao Zedong stars in the currently airing Killer and Healer. Many of you have been singing its praises in the comments section, and I take your word for it, so I'm gonna be checking it out real soon. And another drama that's recently wrapped filming is My Wife is a Thief. My Wife is a Thief is an upcoming costume drama starring Daddy Tang and Sabrina Chuang, and they wrapped filming on March 22nd as well. This was them at the booting ceremony on December 27th, so it was almost a three-month shoot. Daddy Tang plays an official who gets into an arranged marriage and has no feelings whatsoever for his seemingly boring new bride. Little does he know that she is actually a legendary and mysterious thief who he falls in love with after several confrontations. Daddy Tang can be seen in The Sword and the Brocade where he plays Ou Yanxing, the second male lead character. Sabrina Zhuang's most recent drama to air was Love Script in which she starred with Julio Wan. More updates on these two costume dramas as they provide them. And moving on, here's some celebrity news with Yang Mi. Yang Mi issues an apology and removes her comic waist challenge picture. In Mandarin, it's Manhua Yao Tiao Zhan, which translates to comic waist challenge, and apparently it was trending for a while. And like any other online challenge, people were photographing themselves doing it and posting it online. And this is what it was. Thighs and legs on the chair, mid and lower abdomen against the side of the chair, and the rest of the body on the ground. I guess it really stretches the waist, hence the waist challenge. So a few days ago, Yang Mi, who's an avid comic fan, completed the challenge and shared her picture. Boy, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to get up. I'd be pleading for help instead of flashing a peace sign. Anyway, that picture has since been deleted. Yang Mi took it down from social media and explained why in a post. She basically said that she had just learned that doing an activity like that without professional guidance could be harmful to the body. She also apologized and said that she hopes everyone can exercise and stretch safely. 
From my observation, Yang Mi is one of the most photographed Chinese celebrities, if not the most. Whether it's a magazine spread or a commercial or one of her selfies on Weibo, the first thing I always notice is how slim she is. But the funny thing is, I don't notice it as much in her dramas. Maybe it's just a different type of picture, or maybe it's the costumes. In any case, this brings me to the final segment of the episode. Where's Marcus at? So the title of the segment it doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. I'm currently following 4 dramas, it's the most I've followed at a time, and it's only possible because the Word of Honor episodes are coming out rather slowly on YouTube. So I'm on episode 21 of Storm Eye with Yang Mi and Vin Zhang. The slow burn has paid off as a major incident just happened. I'm watching the drama on YouTube where it's available with English subs. I'm on episode 16 of Word of Honor with Zhang Zhehan and Simon Gong. So things are happening at this juncture. Blood has been shed and people's true faces have been revealed. I'm watching the drama on YouTube where it's available with English subs. I'm on episode 25 of The Sword and the Brocade with Wallace Chung and Seven Tan. Seven Tan has been terrific in this, and so have other cast members whose jobs are to make us absolutely hate their characters. I almost threw a shoe at the screen during this scene. Those of you who have seen it will know what I'm talking about. I'm watching the drama on WeTV where it's available with English subs. And finally, I'm on episode 7 of Rattan with Jing Tian and Vin Zhang. Loving the chemistry between the two lead actors right now. I'm watching the drama on YouTube where it's available with English subs. And that's been another segment of Where's Marcus At? And it also brings this episode to a close. If you want to check out the t-shirt or other Chinese drama merchandise, there's a link to it in the description below. And this show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps and shoutouts. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!